Chisinau, Moldova, Angelina Leonidovna Kovac decided to leave the Ukrainian city Kharkiv in the second week of March, emerging from her basement refuge into a country under fire. She crossed from Ukraine into neighboring Moldova with a group of her relatives, all members of Ukraine's Roma minority. Now, in a university building turned temporary refugee center in Moldova's capital Chisinau, Kovac and other Roma are in limbo. Entire families live together in classrooms emptied of desks to make space for beds. Mothers find a quiet corner to feed their babies while older children fill time by playing card games in the hallway. People who have travel documents can leave for other countries in Europe and beyond. People who don't cannot. Kovac, 35, doesn't have her passport, it got left back in Ukraine in a rush to evacuate. When Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine in late February, she was visiting family in Kharkiv, in the north, and decided it was best to leave directly instead of traveling back to her home in Zaporizhia, in the southeast, to claim her documents. For two weeks there was bombing, she says. I was afraid to go, back. In the early days of Ukraine's war, undocumented people were able to pass through Moldova's borders easily, either via official crossing points or unfenced sections of the border. This made the country the most logical place for people to flee if they didn't have passports, and word of this option spread among communities where this was common. Members of Ukraine's Roma minority, an estimated 400, 000 people, are among the more than 6 million refugees who fled Ukraine since the war began. For many people from this ethnic group, crossing borders is complicated because they have no way to prove their nationality, 